Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy Thursday. Oh my goodness, can you believe it's 71 degrees right now? In the 757, we're going to get up to around 83, and, and it was hot yesterday too, y'all. It was hot yesterday. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we're rejoicing, and we're glad in it. I tell you, this is a time where we are getting ready to celebrate Resurrection Sunday. And usually Thursday, Christians celebrate the Last Supper. Um, you know, on that night, uh, Jesus got his disciples together and they shared the Last Supper. But our Daily Bread lesson reminded me of something. You know, um, the other night in Church School Live, I was talking about the fact, I introduced the lesson uh, by talking about how it was shared that the resurrection was a revolution. It started something. It started a change uh, in our personal life and even in the world. It, 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 it started that trajectory of us overcoming death and having life. But I was reminded from today's lesson about an incident that happened right before Jesus um, did the Last Supper. Well, the story is told um, in John, I believe it's um, John, let's see, John, um, the 13th uh, verse, uh, when Jesus was getting ready um, to, uh, he told the disciples uh, what was getting ready um, to happen to him, and, you know, he was going to, um, he was going to die, and all of that, and he wanted to have the supper, but uh, he got up from the table and he put a towel around his waist and he poured water in a basin and uh, he began to wash his disciples' feet. Now, when he got to Peter, Peter said, no, you're not going to wash my feet, you know, because Peter felt this was a lowly thing for him to do. You know, he's the uh, Lord and Savior and you're getting down to the lowest part of me and going to wash my dirty feet. He said, no, you're not going to wash my feet. And Jesus replied, now look, you don't realize what I'm doing, but later you're going to understand this. And Peter said, no, you're not going to wash my feet. And Jesus said, unless I wash your feet, you have no part of me. And then Peter turned that thing around. He said, no, don't, don't just wash my feet. Wash my head and, and my hands and everything else, and my head, everything. Uh, and, and so Jesus said, this is what I'm doing. I, you call me your teacher, you call me your Lord, you call me your leader, and you rightly so. But I'm, I'm doing this as an example because you should also wash one another's feet uh, because I've done this as an example. So you should do this. And, you know, as I was thinking about that, I thought about another scripture over in Matthew 20. Uh, Matthew 20, 20 through 28 same thing right before Jesus is getting ready to be crucified um, the mother of two of the disciples comes to Jesus and asks him you know how about my sons <laughs> you know who's going to sit on the left hand who's going to sit on the right hand and um, Jesus said you know um, you really don't know what you are asking and he went on to say, you know, um, Will, to, to the disciples, the two disciples, he said, uh, are you going to be able to drink of the cup that I'm going to drink of? Or will you be baptized with the baptism I'm going to be baptized with? And they said, we are able. They didn't have a clue <laughs> what they was answering to. And... Jesus said, yeah, ye shall drink indeed of my cup and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. But to really sit on my right hand, my left hand, that's really not mine to give. That's the Father to give. But he was saying that they were going to be go through the same suffering that he went through. You know, because he was really asking, you you want to be willing to go through all this agony and suffering? Because some of them did, were. Uh, one was crucified and put upside down. Um, others were killed all kinds of horrible ways and tortured. Uh, the last one who 
really wasn't physically. He was put out on the Isle of Patmos. So they all went through uh, some tort sort of suffering, but they didn't even know what they were answering at the time. But I like the way Jesus ended this up. He said, whosoever will be great among you, let him be your minister. My gem nugget today is simply the word serve, serve, because minister means to serve. You know, I'm so glad that our church is called Grace and Twine Ministries. We are servants. We are servant leaders. And all of us should be servants to serve. And whosoever will be chief among you, let him be your servant. Here we go. Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to, and to give his life a ransom for many. Do you realize when Jesus died on the cross, that was a service, that was a ministry? You, you, you know, sometimes we just limit it to what he did in, in making the blind to see and making the lame to walk and, and um, teaching and so forth. But he gave his life, that was a service. Now, God is not, and Jesus is not asking us to, 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 to give our lives physically, but he's asking us to continue the revolution by serving, by serving, by serving. Oh, this word is not leaving me. By serving, whether we serve by helping those in need, whether we serve by, by um you know, like I'm doing, just sharing the word of God as many, as often as I can. It's serving. It's serving. I can't get the word out of my mind. Serve. We need to serve. First by serving the Lord and then by serving others. That's how we keep the revolution. And that's how we live in the revolution of this thing that we call the resurrection. It's not just about what Mary Magdalene, the first woman of the gospel, to carry the gospel message. But it's about us continuing to serve. To serve. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Something's down in my spirit. That word to serve. Amen. Amen. Well, uh, I just want to remind you. I just want to remind you. Uh, Pastor Gilmore tonight is going to be serving a word tonight that we can apply to our everyday life on Life Study. Life Study, 7 p.m. on the Jim Nugget channel hope you've subscribed so you'll get your notification when he's coming on the gym nugget and facebook live don't forget good morning at 7 p.m 7 p.m tonight 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 and you know um uh, tomorrow i'm going to share with you my special good friday um gym nugget you know what i've noticed around this time, especially when it comes to uh, Good Friday, the weather seems to change, and there's a prediction that's gonna be changing tomorrow, say we're gonna drop from the 80s to the 50s. And, all right, that's announcements there with the school. But, the weather is gonna change, it's gonna drop to 51. And I may be sitting in my car tomorrow sharing this gem nugget. But it even appears that nature recognizes what happened on that Friday when our Lord and Savior was crucified on that cross. So I hope to join you tomorrow for the gem nugget. That's a good Friday nugget. And uh, I really want you to tune in tomorrow as I share. But in the meantime, in the meantime, serve. Bye.